Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we are taking a look at the voice memos on the iPhone and how you can edit them. Well, voice memo is a basically built-in app which is available on every iPhone. You, you are gonna have it unless you removed it from your device, which is possible. In case you did, in fact, delete it, you can always just retrieve it and get it back from the App Store for free. It's always gonna be available there. Okay, but in case you have a voice memo which you have recorded, so you don't allow it to access, or perhaps you do, but you just record something, you can see that I'm talking, you can doing whatever I want, and now when I hit pause, I can actually edit the recording. So, for example, you have the option to trim it. So this little button allows you to trim the recording as you like. So you can just grab one end of the, of the voice memo recording, drag it like this, move over to the beginning, and trim it like this. So that's an option as well. However, if your recording is too long, you can always just zoom in and out for easy scrolling. Because you can see right now I can get from the beginning to the end of the, the clip fairly easily. However, if I'm zoomed in, it's taking a lot of time to just scroll all the way from one side to the other. And this recording is literally just a few seconds long. So just always zoom out in case you want to just quickly browse the recording and be efficient with it. You may have also noticed that at the bottom you also have the same thing. So in case for like longer recordings, you have a very small small timeline at the bottom, which is actually useful for those really long ones if you want to just trim it like this. This up top is for more like precision cutting. Then the important part is deciding whether you want to trim or delete that specific part. Because you can just choose a selection like this you can see that I'm gonna choose this exact thing that happened. And if I choose trim, everything outside of that yellow box is gonna be removed. Only within that yellow selected area is the sound which is gonna remain as part of the recording. However, if I tap on the delete, everything else is going to stay, but this section which is selected is gonna be removed. So tapping on delete, it just led me with this recording without that actual sound. So that's how you have to handle it. Of course, hit save so you are done with it. That was during the process of recording. However, if you have a finished recording and you want to edit this one, always just click on the three dots right here and you have the option to edit the recording and you get to the same section, which is of course just the same thing. But yeah, you can also edit finished recordings. You also have this little button right here, so if you click on it, you have some options here as well. Or, I mean, I don't personally use it that much, because you can always just speed it up or slow it down. Of course, if it's a voice recording, it's gonna mess around with the sound quality. You don't really want to do that, I guess, because you want to just make the voice sound natural. But one very interesting feature is skipping silence. If you enable this, iPhone is going to go through your entire recording, and if it's a voice recording, it's going to keep the voice there, but it's going to remove the pauses in between. Whenever you just need to take a breath, or someone that is speaking just made a pause, you don't have to actually manually go through it one by one to remove the silent pieces. This feature is going to do it automatically. I mean, this recording doesn't even contain any voice, so it doesn't know what it's supposed to remove, so that's why it does not work here in this example. And you also have enhanced recording, which just uses post-processing to enhance uh, the voice to make it sound better. I personally don't use it uh, either, because I just do this kind of stuff manually on a computer, but on the go it's really useful in case you want to quickly enhance it, you don't even have to have another app ready or anything like that. This is how you can edit it. Of course, if you have some different apps available, let's say you have CapCut, there you have some options for voice recording or audio recording as well. So in that case, you can always just export that. You can, for example, share it or put it to save it to files. And from the files, you can move it to some kind of different app where you can have more options for audio recording. So that's up to you to decide what the goal is, but I'm just showing you what is possible, what you can do within the native app. Of course, there are some other third-party voice recorders with perhaps more features, so it is up to you to decide 
what's going on but these are the ways how you can edit voice memos on the iphone i hope the video helped you out and that you found some value in it if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe so you don't miss future videos similar to this one and we can see each other later on in the future peace out until then